What's up guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're in a creative world, I got something to show you here. Uh, watching one of Generic B's recent videos, I got inspired to make my own uh, little game here. And this is, um, I think he called his wheel of flim flam. Mine's basically the same thing, I'm mean, using the same payment system, same reward system, but I changed up the color s selection is the same, actually I changed the the randomizer is what I changed. What he had is, you pick your color, pay, and I have a button you press that's connected to a dispenser full of all the different colors that you can choose, and if a dispenser is powered and more than one item is in it, it'll be a random output. But what he did was he used a little easter egg in the game. See here we have a sheep, white sheep. What he did was he had a whole bunch of them in a little area and you have to shear them. You have to shear one. And then that was the part that I didn't like is you have to shear one. And if you're on a server with a bunch of people that aren't that honest, well shear maybe one or two, then that can change the odds. But obviously, you know, I have a button. You can only press it once and I have it so you press It'll close, you'll see in a minute. But anyway, back to what he uses. He uses a little Easter egg. You just take a name tag. And we put, we're going to put uh, Jeb underscore. And what this does, when you name the sheep, you see how it's random colors. Let me just grab some shears here and show you. See how the sheep is changing colors. Now, it'll always shear white, no matter what color you see. So we see yellow, and it, see it comes out white there. Move it away. See, it's still white. So that was how he randomized the colors. What I did is I just put the button as you've seen and so you can't press the button twice. There's a little mechanism so that once you press it, it closes and then over here you wait to see if you won. The light will come on and you do. Look at that, we won. Perfect, perfect uh, demonstration there. We'll try a couple more times and see our luck. Same, so we'll change the color to uh, blue. Let's see what we get. Come on. No. One more time we'll try and then I'll show you what's going on in the back there. Try green this time. And do we win? No. Okay, anyway, what's going on here is pretty much the same thing he has. Is You get the item frame there with the signal going out and it changed based on the uh, position of the arrow in the item frame. And you see we had it on green, so that's this one that's green. And then on the other side of these outputs here for the item frame, we have an item sorter for all the different colors. So that if your color comes through when you press the button, it'll pass through to the end because that color will be locked and it'll go to this chest over here. Which on this last hopper, if it passes through all those, obviously it's a win. So it'll this, this compare it will check that hopper if it passes through. Send it back around here to the dispenser with the diamonds and the light, and then also down here the uh, the win the note blocks I have set up there. But yeah, that's how it is. So the button is behind this block and it's connected to this T flip flop, which will close it after you press it. And obviously, once you pay, it goes back up to the same T flip flop to open the door. So that's it. We're gonna try one more time. We're gonna go with orange this time. Try one more time. Oh, gotta press the button. And let's try our luck one last time. And it looks like we didn't win. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. I thought I want to show you. I'm probably gonna build this up on our server. Get some more interaction between the guys. So a little fun game for them. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. Remember if you're new around here, subscribe. Show some love on that like button. It really helps me out. Keeps me motivated to keep making these movie these videos for you guys. Alright. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time.